So we're heading to Amsterdam today to visit the studio of an artist we represent called Joseph Klebanski. And it's always great to visit an artist studio for the first time, but one of the reasons we particularly want to go today is that we're looking to open a new gallery space in London in 2020, and we want to open with a Klebanski show. Right, guys. Ah, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Nice to see you, guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Really cool. Yeah, this what is uh, a space. This is like our. Uh, it's like your own gallery. This is very, very impressive, guys. Okay, let's check out the studio. So every piece we create, we have to make a full-scale uh, plastic model for the mold process. And here you have like, uh, this is what a mold looks like. You've got the silicone rubber and the hard outer shell. And we use these to make wax models. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. We can close the molds and we can fill it up with wax and let it set. Then we have to finish the waxes, because the waxes have the seam lines on it and they have many holes. And all the holes we need to fix. It's a very delicate process. So this refrigerator and what you see here is wax pieces we've worked on. So it's going to be upside down. Yeah. You got the cup, you're going to pour the bronze in here and everything is going to be nice and full with no air bubbles. That's the, the goal. So this is the, the dipping room. So here you can see uh, already one coat of dipping. You see the wax model part of a crocodile. We dip it in the tanks. We do all different grades of sand because we want to build up uh, the ceramic shell. It's a serious process. It's very serious and if you, if you screw it up here, you can start with your mold again. Into the ovens, we have two ovens here. We bring it up to temperature, two things happen. The shell, the sand that we just dipped, fuses into one hard ceramic shell and we burn out the wax because we want to have a hollow negative shape. And we come here to the foundry. <laughs> Louis, nice Louis, to meet you. Louis giving the demo. He's going to be like this tonight in Amsterdam. <laughs> so this is the bronze we're, we're melting. So all sculptures start like, uh, like gold bars. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's quite heavy. Then what we do is we sandblast it to take off all the remaining shell. And this is a good example that didn't work out. You pour it, you clean it, that's what you have. It's just messy and, and screwed up. So will that just be melted down to... Not even because here there's ceramic shell between the layers and that will come in your clean bronze. This is like the graveyard of sculptures. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So this is where we do assembly of all the parts. around. It's pretty cool, huh? Very cool. It's super fine dentist work. To grind the whole surface, get back the creases in it, and then do all the different grades of from rough to smooth to polishing, depending on what piece it is. This looks crazy, huh? <laughs> I have to stand here for scale. Otherwise, you don't see the scale. This piece is going to the house of a DJ called Steve Aoki. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. This is going to be in his Las Vegas house. Nice. So we're missing the baby and we're missing the ice cream on that one. It's pretty crazy, yeah, with all the creases of the cloth I and the quality is unbelievable. The US. Yeah, that's what art should have, this mega attraction. 100%. You know? So that was a really interesting studio visit. It has really given me a much greater understanding of the magnitude of his operation, really. They're, they're thought-provoking, they're fun, but they also have 
quite a deep meaning to them as well, which is hard to get, I think. You know, to roll all that up into one piece of artwork is, is testament to him. There's a lot of different sculptors out there. And I would say Joseph Klebanski's work is the closest thing I've seen in quality to Kuhn's, to Kuhn's yeah. which is a huge compliment. We will be back. Well, I think next time, likely it is, we'll be back with clients. When you are really investing into an artist and, and investing into their works, understanding that process is so important.